Hi guys, Big Mondy here, and today I want to show you uh, another underrated item. Uh, that item is the Blightstone. Now, re now, the way this this works has been nerfed against towers, and I'm going to demonstrate it against the tower and show you why. Uh, I've been kind of doing this for a long time. I've been picking up a casual Blightstone on supports, uh, and the reason I've been doing that is because it gives minus two armor to anyone you right click. Uh, and it lasts 8 seconds. So on towers it's kind of nerfed because you want to hit it. As a crystal maiden it's probably going to be more valuable for me if I just hit it and then walk away. Uh, because I'm going to give the tower to armor by being near it. Now the recent change to armor means for every hero nearby the tower gets to armor. So what I want to do is hit it, walk away and just let the weaver do his damage. Which to be honest on his crystal maiden is probably going to mean I'm going to I'm going to be more valuable than standing there right clicking it myself because crystal maiden right clicks like a wet noodle so let me demonstrate this against towers now if i for example it, it's quite common to pick up a blight stone on a core yeah, yeah the idea being that you pick up the blight stone and then you turn it into the deso but the deso and the blight stone minus armor stack so if i take a look at the tower now it's got it's got 16 plus 2 armor for one hero nearby, which is 51% physical damage resistance. Agreed. However, if I hit it with both these guys, it's got 39% physical damage resistance. Because of the way minus armor stacks, uh, and the way the math works, uh, if you can push something to, to nearly, to getting close to zero armor, the Your difference minus armor attack. makes is much, much bigger. If I get both Earth these guys to death. run bot, so again, by default, it's got 48% physical resist. If I run both these guys in, and if we go attack this tower, attack. and I hit it once with Crystal Maiden, then walk out of range, and then pause. You see that I'm 16 minus 7, so I'm now I'm only on 35% physical of resist. And since Weaver hits reasonably hard, this tower is going to fall insanely fast. So I'm going to do another video soon on Solar Crest. So and also how to counter axe. That'll talk a bit more in detail about using this in heroes. Basically, the same principle applies as does with axe. But uh, with Axe, it's particularly good. So we'll talk about that in another video. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.